Hey guys, it's Josh, the Not Any Know It All, coming to you today on day 12 without baseball and softball. I hope you guys are doing better than me because I have been absolutely struggling not having sports. Now, my calendar, I think this week had really a game every night on it, you know, whether it be high school game, college game, baseball, softball. I had stuff planned pretty much every day this week, and it's driving me nuts to not be out there. So, I know how you guys feel. It's it's been rough. Uh, Washington went into stay home, stay safe, or stay healthy uh, officially last night for two weeks. So uh, it's been rough. It's not been enjoyable, uh, and for some aspects, because you just can't go do anything, uh, really throws off your schedule. But at the same time, there's also positives to it. I do get a chance to spend time with family and, and just uh, we've watched some movies and relaxed, and it is what it is. Uh, guys, before we jump into too much talk today, uh, I do want to say thank you once again to Patreon supporters. Uh, you guys are the reason why this video, the podcast, the site are still going this moment. Because if it weren't for you guys, I honestly would just, I, don't, I wouldn't be able to keep going. I'd have to shut it down. Um, right now, even with Patreon, we're still losing money uh, each month. Because of this, right now I should be out photographing getting more supporters but don't have that so guys if you're watching this and you're thinking about becoming a patreon supporter please do uh, that way we can get through this time and I can ready to ramp it up as soon as baseball does start hopefully June 1st or so um, but we'll see so guys let's go into uh, you know topic for today and topic for today is uh, sports and really their healing power for the country uh, yesterday I was I was on YouTube uh, at night and I turned on a channel that I watch all the time. It's called Fresh Baked and it's a Disneyland channel. It's, a, it's an individual who goes to Disneyland all the time. Obviously he can't now because of uh, Walt Disneyland being shut down at the moment. And he was just talking about how there's a lot of things that will help heal this country when this is all done. You know, there, there's obviously Disneyland, so theme parks, there's movies and all that. But he said and I agree with them, that sports are gonna be probably the key component of what helps our nation heal and get through this. Once games get going again, a lot of people will begin to feel a sense of normalcy. And I understand that completely, because once again, I was gonna be at games every day this week, pretty much, every weekend, really for the next five months, I had something planned uh, to go do sports-wise and photograph and that type of stuff. So. It really does throw you off when you don't have that and you I'm kind of end up just sitting around on the couch all day I don't do a lot of other stuff getting out to games is really how I get out of the house how I go do stuff and now I spend really almost all my time on the couch or on a chair looking at the computer trying to figure things out so sports really are a healing factor for for us as a country it's really ingrained in who we are um, if you look at 9-11 when that happened it was when baseball returned and we as a nation began to feel normal again that we really began to heal and process what had happened. Uh, when you got Sammy Sosa running through right field holding the American flag, when you have um, the Yankees wearing all the um, different department hats, uh, fire and, and police to show uh, how they are backing them and supporting them. You know, you have a lot of that type of, of stuff that really helped us move forward. The World Series that year was, was huge. Um, even the first pitch thrown out by President Bush at the time, you know, whether you voted for him or not, like him or not, that first pitch was pretty powerful. Um, the fact that he won through a strike, but just that sense of being back to who we were um, after something happened. So sports are going to play a huge role in this. Um, Grant, they're not the only thing. We know right now small businesses are, are hurting really bad. I, I put on my personal Twitter account yesterday that, you know, if you can support small business, go do it uh, because they need the help. I, I have a feeling uh, that a lot of small businesses will not make it through this. And that's that's disheartening because we know how important small business is to this country. Just the just the heart and soul of who we are as Americans it really comes down to small business. So th that's going to hurt. I mean, I, I understand the small business thing. Would not even know it all. Trying to do the photography side of things, I haven't been able to do any work for two weeks. Not gonna be able to do work for two more months probably. 
two months of not being able to do anything. I can't do freelance stuff. I can't um, go out and get games to try and build supporters, sell photos. Man, it it hurts. It, it hurts. It's financially, it's tough. Mentally, it's tough. Emotionally, it's tough. Uh, so I understand, and it's it's trying times. It's a trying time right now. But once again, sports will heal. I mean, I, I'm already thinking about the very first game I get to go back to. I'm going to take. 3,000 photos. I'm going to take photos nonstop. My finger is not going to stop pushing the button because I'm going to be so excited to be back at a game. So whatever team I cover first, when this is all said and done, be ready to have photos galore available to you because I, I just don't know what else to do. I'm just, I, I'm ready to go back and cover some sports. But sports are a healing thing. Um, you know, I even talked with my wife and she is not a sports fan. So she's like, well, it doesn't affect me a whole lot. But then I brought up the fact that it does. When sports get going, I'm going to be gone all the time. We're going to be doing stuff. The, the girls will be with me at games. And she's like, you know, it, it does. It Even though she's not a big sports fan, it still impacts her and her life. Uh, it impacts our family's lives, that type of stuff. So it, it's crazy to think about, you know, what it's like without sports right now. Um, the fact that we're still probably months, maybe two months, maybe longer away uh, I know the odds came out yesterday or the day before saying that uh, the odds of Major League Baseball starting before June 1st was like, you know, not even worth taking a shot at. Uh, before July 1st, even, the odds were were leaning in favor of no, not starting by then even. And August 1st, the season having started by August 1st was kind of almost 50-50. So that's, that's pretty insane for me to think about that. Um, I hope that's wrong. I hope the season does start sooner rather than later because I, I just, we need sports. We need sports to help us get through this, to help us cope with it, to help us move forward with it. I know there's a lot of people out there who say, well, sports aren't that important. And I would say, no, you don't understand. Sports for a lot of people in this country are our one option, our one moment to get away from what's going on in the world and just feel relaxed, just feel happy. Sports have that ability. They always have. I know uh, not everybody feels that way. For some people, it's movies, and I understand that too. I'm a diehard movie person. I love Marvel movies. I love Star Wars movies, Disney, Pixar. I love good movies. In fact, you guys can see I've got Star Wars and Marvel stuff and all that stuff up there, right? Because that's a part of who I am. But once again, sports is that healing factor because when you go to games you can interact with people you can see everybody else when you're at a theater lights go down it's kind of just you in the movie but when you're at a sporting event it's you the players the fans it's everything together and it makes a big difference so i'm ready for sports to start up i don't know when they'll start up um you know yesterday alaska high school authority i'm not sure whoever does the high school sports officially announced that their 2020 season is done. I'm pretty sure that's most every state now um, that is completely done with high school sports for spring, which is heartbreaking. All those seniors who lose out on their, their senior year to be able to finish the sport they love, it's, you know, it's, it's heartbreaking. I don't know any other way to describe that. But that's the world we live in. Uh, things are having to be figured out. Summer ball is going to be huge. That's why I'm really hoping June 1st because summer ball really starts, you know, that first week of June. And if we can't start playing then, man, the consequences of that are going to be even bigger uh, because you have guys who haven't thrown, haven't hit. You have just so much going on that needs to get moving again just to make us feel normal. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, we, you know, take it one day at a time. I know that's tough. I know for me yesterday I was going to actually record this video Yesterday, I was going to do a podcast yesterday, I was going to write an article, and I just kind of realized I didn't feel like doing any of that. I didn't feel like doing anything. I just wanted to just sit there and kind of mope and be depressed for a day. Um, and that's, you know, for a lot of people, that's only going to get worse. It doesn't get better. It's going to get worse first before we can get through it and start healing. So I'm ready for sports. I'm thankful that MLB is putting games on YouTube. That's something. I mean, I went back and watched uh, the 95 playoffs uh, American League Division Series between the Yankees and Mariners, the Game 5, the 
probably the most historic moment in Mariners history. And that, that was nice. It was nice to be able to watch that to get away. I went through and did the highlights of Game 7 of last year's World Series uh, just to kind of smile and enjoy it. Plus, watching the Astros lose made me smile a little more than, uh, than maybe I should have. But it was just those moments helped me kind of relax and, and refocus um, on the possibility of healing. So uh, this is going to be tough, guys. If you need anything, if you need someone to talk to, or maybe you just want to talk sports, let me know. You know, I've got a way for people to call me and we can talk. I can have a whole group of people come in and talk as well through the uh, app that I'm using for the podcast recording. I can have people call in. We can just talk sports and just have fun. We can do that. So got that out there. Uh, speaking of the podcast, I got my headphones in. So that way I can hear people talking to me. I'm excited for the podcast. Um, at times, at times I'm super excited. At times I'm really not. Uh, once again, with no sports, I'm kind of a roller coaster of uh, mental health and, and emotion right now. So, guys, we'll get through it. Uh, do our best to help each other out. Wash your hands. Stay home. If we can all just do what we have to do to get through this as fast as possible, I would appreciate it. So, guys, I'm Josh, the Nanny Know It All, talking to you about how sports are going to heal this country when we get through it. They really are. Talk to you guys later.